Algebra 2, this is section 4.3, chapter 4, section 3. Um, this is the last video in this um, section. So does matrix multiplication follow the distributive property? So let's look at that. Um, let's grab our colored pens. So we are going to do first row. Oh, wait, I'm going back and let's just start this over again. So that would be A times B plus C. So order of operations says to take B plus C first. So I'm going to take A times whatever B plus C is, and B plus C will end up being a matrix, right? So B plus C, so that's going to be 5 plus 9 is 14, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13, and 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, so that's my, my matrix, and now I'm going to multiply this first matrix times this new matrix, and we're going to take, um, let's see, we'll go back to red. So first row times first column. So that's going to be 1 times 14 is 14, plus 2 times 13 is 26. Then we're going to take the first row times the second column. So 1 times 7 is 7 and 2 times 12 is 24. Now we're going to take the second row times the first column. So 3 times 14 is 42. Well, get 42. And then 4 times 13 is Oh, I should know that. 4 times 13, how many the cards are in a deck? That's 52. 52. And the last one, we're going to take this bottom row times the second column here. So 3 times 7 is 21. And then 4 times 12 is 48. Add up each element, and we have our answer, our result in matrix. So 14 plus 26 would be 20, 30, 40. That's a 40. And then 7 plus 24 would be 31. 42 plus 52 is 94. And 21 plus 48 would be uh, 60, 69. Okay, then we're ready to do more work. So we want to take A times B and A times C and see what we get. So let me clean this up just a bit. Erase that part off there. Oops. And then erase this one off here. So A times B. So this row times that column, that's going to be a 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 times 7 is 14. And then I'm going to take first row times second column. So 1 times 6 is 6, plus 2 times 8 is 16. Then I'm going to take second row times first column. So 3 times 5 is 15 and 4 times 7 is 28. And then the last one here, I'm going to take the second row times the second column. So 3 times 6 is 18, and 4 times 8 is 32. Okay, that's my first one, that's AB. So AB is actually, let's extend my page a little bit so I'm not squeezing in here. 5 plus 4 is 19. 15 plus 28 is 30, 43. 6 plus 16 is 22. And 18 plus 32 is 40. Okay, now I'm going to do my second one, A times C. So I'm, again, I need to clean this up a bit. We're done with B. Let's start A over again. And we'll multiply this times our C over there. Okay, so let's grab our um, first numbers here. So first row times first column is 1 times 9 is 9, plus 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, and then we'll grab another one. So first row, second column, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 4 is 8. Second row times the first column. 3 times 9 is 27, and 4 times 6 is 24. 
And the last one, we're going to do second row, second column. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 4 is 16. So we need to add this one up. So 9 plus 12 is 21. And then 22 plus 24 is 46. And then 1 plus, 9 is, 1 plus 8 is 9. And 3 plus 16 is 19. Then we can add these up. So 19 plus 21 is 40. 22 plus 9 is 31. Um, somewhere I have an error because they should be the same. Let's go to this one. 40 plus 19. I have an error somewhere. Hold on. Okay, I went back and double-checked my work. I did find some errors here, so let me fix my errors. First of all, um, this number here, 18 plus 32, should be 50. That'll fix one error. And then my second error, um, somehow here, this should end up being a 51. Um, so this 46 should actually be a 51. So I did a math mistake somewhere back in there. And so I could go back and figure that out if I wanted. So that one was A times C, right? So that's first row times, um, nope, second row times first column. So second row A times C. So that's this one. So that's 3 times 9 is, oh, that's a 27. That's good. I'm fine, I just can't read my own writing. So 27 would give me 51. Um, so whenever I add those up now, so the 19 plus the 21 is 40, the 22 plus the 9 is 31. 43 plus 51 is, in fact, 94, the way it's supposed to be, 94. And 50 plus 19 is 69. And it does work out. Matrix multiplication with the distributive property does work.